Okay, and I, no, no offense, no and this isn't, isn't going to change anything whatsoever. No, of course. I asked you multiple times yeah. if you ever did anything to him, and every single time you said you didn't. No, well, I told you when we were in the car. Right, you said in the I car you started yes, bumping around, and you started kicking the car, you course. started hitting the doors. Yes, you never, you never said you started hitting him. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. I present to you a very special, exclusive video. If you're not familiar with Amelia and Joshua, make sure you check out their interrogations on my channel. To give you a quick recap, they were accused of theft of $50,000 and double murder. Well, to give you a little update on what's happening in this video, Amelia was out on bond for murder. She decided to cheat on her husband, Joshua, with her old high school friend, Jay. And then she ditched Jay when Jay fled the state, so she hooked up with her other ex-boyfriend, Philip. And then she was cheating on Philip with a guy named Oliver. Philip drove to Oliver's house, pissed off and very jealous. He scooped up Amelia, smashed her phone, and took her with him. She started scratching him, hitting him, smashed the window on his car, and she called 911 claiming to be a kidnap victim. No, I won't spoil this whole video, but that's just a recap on what you can expect here. You got Amelia cheating on her husband Joshua before he was even convicted of this murder. She hooks up with Jay, then hooks up with Philip, then hooks up with Oliver and gets back with Philip. This is the kind of exclusive content you can expect at Crime Circus. Because I'm putting in those long hours, long work days, sleepless nights. I do this for you. Now let's jump right into this video and be entertained. Hi! Hi. 10-4, two and a half miles from the I-4, is there calling Ethan? Okay, so what's going on? What's going on? Confirming the vehicle stationary. I'm really right now. Okay, so I'm going to give it to you straight. If you don't tell us what's going on and she comes up with some convoluted story and you say nothing, I have to go with her story. Okay, no, nothing has to happen to anybody. Yeah, we checked out possible victim or just a vehicle at this point. So here, here's what happened. Check out the death right now. Technically, that's my ex. Okay. Definitely, well, thank you. We've been talking, you know, we've still been, we've still been seeing each other. She told me what she was doing tonight, and I didn't believe her. So I passed by her friend's house. Mm -hmm. She was there with another guy. Okay. <clears throat> well, that happened. So I confronted her. She can start getting physical with me. I left. She called me. Is telling me that she's walking home. Uh, I'm not gonna let you walk home. I went back. She was walking down Colonial. She was right in front of the mobile gas station on Dorshire. I stopped the car. I said, I'm not gonna let you walk home. Get in. I'm gonna take you home. She got in the car. I'm driving her home. She lives on Hiawassee, and she says. I need to go get my car, it's downtown. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm on 408 right now. I'm driving down 408. She tells me that she lost her debit card, it's my fault. She starts punching me, she kicked my windshield. Hold on, hold on. I know, that's fine. She starts hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. Did the windshield break at all? I'll look in a second, no, yeah, but did the windshield she, break? Yeah, it's cracked. Okay. But what I'm saying is I don't want anything to happen to her. Okay. She has issues. She's got a lot of legal issues right now. The legal issues, how? Was it like she going through an eviction or? She's involved in a situation that happened here in Orlando. She's already fled. Oh, so you're Orlando. talking criminally. Got yes. you. Okay. If, if she Hi. goes somewhere, if you guys are going to take somebody, take me. Okay, so she kicked the windshield. I pulled over here. She gets out the, first of all, she's still hitting me. So I open the door and I push her out the car. And I was going to leave, but I don't want to leave her here no, straight on the side of the road. 
So I got out the car, starts calling you guys, and I'm like, look, just get in the car, I'm gonna take you home. I'm not gonna leave you. She keeps telling me to leave, telling me to leave. Matter of fact, right before you guys pulled up, she was telling me to leave because she's like, if you don't leave and you tell them what happened, then I'm going to jail forever. Like, I'm not coming out. Okay. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to leave. So I told her to get in the car. So right before you guys pulled up, she was about to get in the car. And then here we are. Gotcha. Okay. This is going to be kind of bright. And check just, do you have any injuries that you know of? Does anything hurt? Where were you, where were you getting hit? All right, just all here. All inside I, of your I'm face? Driving the car, so she's just punching me here. I mean, okay. I'm not hurt. I got you. Well, what I'm saying is, like, do you feel it anywhere? All right, you don't need the fire department come with you to shoot or anything? Okay. I'm assuming you don't commonly have redness behind your ear and some scratch marks? Okay. Do you have anything? Do you mind just doing this real quick with your arms? Yeah, I broke my finger down here. Okay. How did that happen? you know? The whole struggle of me trying to stop her. Okay. But I don't, I don't want anything to happen. What's your relationship to her? So we're at just my ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend? Did you guys used to live together? Yes. Okay. How long did you guys live together for? About a year. Okay. How recently did you guys break up? I mean, it's been off and on for since like June, July of last year. Okay. But you guys are still kind of talking, not talking, yeah, still she, sort of thing? Yeah, you know, she's just at my house. Okay. You know what I mean? Like... Oof. Yikes. And how much do you think it's going to cost to fix that? Jesus. Okay. I'm guessing these are her shoes on the floor? Some black shoes? No, those are hers. Oh, okay, all right. They were on her side, so that's why I was asking. Okay. Are you willing to write out a statement at all? I don't, I really don't want to. Okay, that's fair. I don't fair. want anything to happen. I just want her to go home. That's it. That's I get that. And that's all I was trying to do was get her home. I understand. You know what I mean? The situation happened. I confronted her. You know what I mean? At mm. the end of the day, I still care about her. I'm not, I'm not going to leave her stranded. She called me and told me I have no way home. Don't forget. So I turned around. You know what I mean? I turned around. I can't, went back to where she was. I'll take you home. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want anything. I don't, I don't, I don't. Sorry. Um, so just to give it to you straight, we still have to write a report. It doesn't mean anything's happening. It doesn't mean anybody's going anywhere. It's just I have to write a report. Florida takes domestic stuff super seriously. So at the end of the day, I have to write a report. So I might not be able to get to it for a couple hours just because we're bouncing around and we're constantly having to handle other calls. So if you are willing to write out a statement saying what happened, I would super appreciate it. You don't have to. But if you're willing to, like I said, I'd appreciate it. If you don't, that's fine. There's other paperwork that I'm just going to ask you to at least review. You can take it. You can sign it. You know, that, that's on you. I'll explain to you each piece of paper. My biggest concern is the kid. Like Where's even, the kid? He's at, he's at, a, at a house with her parents. Okay. So my biggest concern is she's, she's on bail right now. Okay. She's been on bail for almost two years. I don't want something to happen. I got you. If, if it has to play out... You guys take me, then take me. I can get myself out. I got you. I got you. And, uh, maybe I'm dumb for doing that. Maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe you're not dumb. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have my fucking notepad. My notepad's in the car. Do you mind just, just getting his stuff real quick? I'm just going to grab paperwork. I'll be right back. I'm going to go talk to her side. I'll talk to her, but what, what's her side? She says she, she went downtown with her friend. And then she drove that friend back home in her car. She went bar hopping with a bunch of friends. Drove mm -hmm. the friend back home in her car to the apartment complex of Point Sam Club, Sam Club 50. Mm -hmm. And then she dropped her off and decided to walk home. She lives on Hiawassee in Colonial. Okay. So far home, consistent. As she's walking home, he pulls up in this, drags her into the car. She's, he's physically, like, assaulting her as he pulls her into the car. Okay. Then he gets her in the car, drives this way. She kicks out her windshield, windshield in the process, or breaks the windshield, whatever it is. I haven't looked at the car seat; it has damages. It does. Um, and then somehow they end up here, and she pops out. She calls us. So okay. She was saying that she was pulled into the car by force. She have any injuries? I don't see any. Okay. So I don't know if Mario was able to tell you because where he was saying yeah, uh, basically what he's saying, which makes more sense. Um, they, they've been on and off for. A hot minute. There. Yeah. Dated for two years on and off. That's yeah. what she said. Yep. They lived together for a little while, too. Okay. Um, so, Dee Dee, at the very least. Um, but, uh, 
They had all gone out downtown. She let him know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Protection zone 34. Why can't be 30 or 31 today? 20 seconds zero via that. 907 Sunnyland Drive. 907 Sunnyland Drive. Off of the State Department Road. I've heard five minutes ago to the caller by three white males. It's code 3 at 355. It's not normal. Um, hey, out here. Uh, do you yeah, want me to stay here or you want to hop No, no, you take uh, just me, Rua, me, and Ty. Okay. But that's, that's basically the story. Yeah, fair enough. Hi, ma'am. Do you mind running me through what's going on today? So I went downtown with my friend. Mm -hmm. Pulled up. I, I drove her car back home to her yeah. apartment complex. When I pulled up to the apartment complex, he pulled up at the same time. Okay. So he doesn't have my location. He had no clue where I was. Okay. How do you how do you think he found you then? So earlier on in the day, we were talking through WhatsApp. Yeah. And I let him know that her mom came to my house and we were hanging out. So I guess he automatically assumed that I was with her and at her place. Mm -hmm. But he said that he when I pulled up to her apartment complex, he pulled up at the same time and said that my car wasn't at my home. So he pulled like I guess he drove by my house to see where my car was. Okay. And then he knows where all my friends live. So pulled over by her house and the guy that I'm speaking to at the moment, I guess he pulled up right behind me because he was taking me back to my car downtown mm -hmm. and he pulled up at the same time. Okay. And what, what happened after that? So when he pulled up to the apartment complex, he stuck his head out the window and he was like, this is what you're on. knows the guy that I'm talking to and he knows his car because a few weeks ago he bust his window at my house. Okay. So he was like, this is what you're on, this is what you're doing, just arguing with me. Because we are still conversating. Uh-huh. We were in a relationship. Right. We are still, you know, making amends or trying to work things out. But figured out where I was, what I was doing, and, you know, where this guy was and how he was following me. Okay. So, when he got out the car, then we started arguing in the apartment complex. And he came out the car, he pulled me, grabbed me to the floor, took my phone through it multiple times, broke my phone into pieces. Okay. I have no, like, my phone case is probably still there. My debit card was in my phone case. That's gone, too, so. Okay. And he left, and I started walking home onto 50. And then when I passed over Dorsher is when he pulled up next to me because he saw me walking. Came out the car and dragged me in his passenger Okay. And how did he manage to do that? So he came out of his car. Right. And dragged me into the passenger seat. Okay. Did you fight back at all? I did. Okay. Did Do you have any injuries? Um, I my arm is like red right here, but that's about it. It's like black and blue. You can see the marks right here from where his arm is. Okay. And. Where were you hitting him? I didn't hit him. I, I was banging against the window to get out. Oh, so you never hit him? No, when we were in the car, his windshield was broken mm -hmm. because I was trying to like get myself out like for him to stop the car. Okay. So that was me on the windshield because I was trying to get out of the car. And as soon as I got out of the car, he pulled over is when I called back and wanted to get out. Okay. Why, why did you never think to try to call 911 while you guys were driving over here? Was he... He took my phone. Okay. When we got in the car, he's like, grab my phone out of my hand. Okay, and how did you get your phone back? Okay. Yeah. So. So when I started kicking and trying to get out of the car for him to pull over, is when I was able to get my phone. Phone was on like one percent. I was able to get out of the car, sit on the floor. He grabbed my phone out of my hand. I was about to throw it over here. Okay. How long have you guys been together? We were together for three years. Okay. Did you guys live together at any point? We did, yes. Yeah. All right. Are you willing to write out a statement for me? I can. Yeah. Okay. And what would you like done today, ma'am? I mean, I just, I don't, I just want to go home at this point. I do, I have a lot of stuff going on personally in my life right now, and I don't need any type of, like, any type of altercation with the police at this point. But if I have to do so, I will do so, because I, I can't deal with this anymore. Okay, do you, uh, do you want to press charges, do you testify in court, any of that no, stuff? No, I'm not going to press charges. I just, like, if I can do, like, a no contact order, I'm okay with that. Okay, but, like, that's something you'll have to go down to the courthouse and get that figured out on your own? That's fine, but I just, I, 
I don't want to press charges, but I, I would like a no contact order. I can do that. Okay. All right, That's just fine. hang tight for me. No I'm going to get paperwork. Mm, is this my car? This is my car. So, oh, well, well, as it stands right now, even still hearing her side of the story, I'm pretty sure she's going to jail. Because if you look at it, he has, he has a lot of marks. No, I know. Um, he has a lot of marks, and his story makes a little bit more sense. Just because, like, granted, I got like I can probably check his phone to figure out some stuff. Um, but what his side of it is is. Um, they got back, to, like, all of them were all hanging out. They got back to the bar, or to the bar, back to her friend's apartment. And he was texting her because they're still talking, but not sort of thing. They're in that weird stage. Um, so while they were texting, she mentioned that she was walking home. And he goes, why are you walking home? I'll drive you home. Okay, this is where I am. Came to pick her up. She gets in the car. They start arguing, she freaks out, starts kicking on his windshield, starts beating him up. He's got a bunch of scratches and hits that are all right here from them driving. Um, yeah, um, and there's like, you can see like three or four footprints on the front windshield, I mean from the inside, and then there's a big ass fucking crack in it. Um, so like I said, he has all of his injuries are centric to right here. Um, Get yeah, um, and he's got, uh, he's got like, what nail was it? It was, this nail has a little bit of a pullback and it's bleeding, but he doesn't have any other marks that would be consistent with him physically dragging somebody into a car. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, um, I'll be over there in a second to give her paperwork. Oh, is that her ID? Yeah. You the best.
Ma'am, do you mind coming here? Okay. This is your current address? Yes. And what's a good phone number for you, ma'am? Um, 407-448. And email address? It's at gmail.com. Were you born here in Florida, ma'am? No, New York. Okay. All I need you to do is write your first and last name right here for me. Okay. Okay. And then as detailed as you absolutely can with everything that happened tonight, I need you to write that in this big box for me, okay? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Her story is, is she gets back from the bar to her friend's place, drops off her friend. For some reason, she then walks home. I don't know why she didn't just drive in whatever vehicle she was driving, because she said she dropped off her friend. Her friend's, friend's car? Her, okay. friend's, her friend was drunk. All right, that makes a lot more sense. Um, he magically appears there, um, starts a bullshit argument, whatever, because um, she's there with her new boy even though she's still talking to him, which she admitted, which is whatever, um, and then starts walking home. She never at any point, according to her, uh, she never at any point told him where she was going to be. Like the whole going over to her friend's place, didn't say that she was going to be walking home, didn't say where she was. All of a sudden at Dorsher and 50, he miraculously pulls up alongside of her, drags her into the car, and they get on the 408 and they're here. Once they're driving for a little while, she starts freaking out, starts kicking the um, kicking the windshield, beating on the doors, and she's saying that she never hits him, which, okay. Um, and then he pulls over on the side of the road. She gets out of the car. She starts calling, and while she's on the phone with us, he takes the phone away from her, says he, you know, and tries to throw it down in the ravine whatever her phone's kind of broken but I don't think I should the story you just told me was for one you just showed me text messages from a number saying where she was um and two oh what's uh, the I see the markings on his fucking head so. yeah so I believe this story that sounds nice ooh that does sound nice I didn't even pay so I no I like I believe his story over hers because hers doesn't make any sense. Like, in, like you're telling me that he randomly finds you twice? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Just go over front us. Okay. Um, and look at the, because um, I already have her phone number written on the statement. Do you remember what the phone number was or at least any digits of it? No, I have to check. Okay. That's why I don't know. Not recently, so I just drove by this place. Hey, bro. Can you send me, tell me the, the message again about what you're talking about? Probably 30 minutes, probably 30 minutes. Okay. Her mom was at my house. I'm dropping her home. She walked here. Uh, do you mind um, pulling up what the phone number is, real quick? So this is this is her WhatsApp phone number. Okay. That's her, That's her WhatsApp phone number. The phone number, the, the SIM card that she has in her phone, is a different phone number. Do you have that one at all, or any messages I mean, I from that is. today? I I can't text her on that. So that that's the crazy thing, because like. Okay. Since we broke up, she had blocked me. Mario, you got the but last four. She calls me. Uh, what, what's the friend's and name? I'm calling her boss. Corolla. Corolla? You got the last four? Nope. Noted? Oh, do you want it? Yeah. Uh, what, was the, what was the last four of that phone number? Was one, one? The WhatsApp phone number? Yeah. Uh, so 1809? 0109. 0109. Uh, so, like I brought up earlier, if you want to fill this out, I'd super appreciate it. Just because I might not get the chance to write this in the next 20 minutes. So, it's a long story. It's a little confusing at some points. I want to make sure I get this story right. Just because I have to write a report on it. 
So if you're willing to write out some, I would super, super appreciate it. Yeah? I, I, is anything going to happen to her? No. No? No. Um, is your driver's license in the car? No, I lack, so that's my wallet. Okay. What's your last name, brother? Ferrer. F-E-R-R-E-R. Hold on. Okay. I mean, I might have a F-E-R-R-E-R? You said F-E-R-R-E-R? Yeah. Okay, now what's your first name? P-H-I-L-I-P. How old are you, man? 32. Date of birth? 1989. Reborn here in Florida? Dallas, or Arlington, Texas. Nice. Answer by the name. Not even any out here. What the fuck? Uh, what's your address if you know it off the top of your head? One Glossy Road. Apartment 20. That's uh, 32835. And what's your phone number? 817-5943. All right. So all I need from you, man, is first and last name here on this line, and then everything as detailed as you possibly can make it. I just need it written in this big box, okay? Appreciate you, man. So she did tell me. She told him earlier through WhatsApp that they did communicate with a timestamp. She told him that like at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. She did say that, yeah. I told him there I was at a friend. The whole same shit he just told me and what I read in the messages. Nine. So she died right now. Right. He said, I hadn't heard from her for a while. Mm -hmm. and, and he, yeah, I am leaning more towards her. Mm -hmm. Because she, he is showing, he trying to act like, show me how he's communicated with her. She told me who she was. And then he showed me. Um, he called her, I think, enough to where he had to scroll to tell me how many outgoing calls, but he never, she never picked up. Okay. So he called her a shit all the time, and she never answered. So I asked him to show you, and I'm like, she never told him where he was at 308. He started drawing her up at 308. And that was at the apartment, or that was on the yeah. middle of the road? Yeah. Okay. So the only thing, yeah, the only thing consistent with what he's saying is, because he told me, I think, like, three times, three different stories. Same story, but it's just how we got here is different. Mm -hmm. First time he told me, he said that, um, he said that, That's quick. He, she told him where he was, they were going to work it out, so he picked her up, and then on the way over, she started bitching about the debit card. Because it just randomly started getting him up. Mm -hmm. When they got here, then he, he opened the door on the driver's side, because she kept heading out, pushed her out, and then came out and told her, I'm not leaving you on that side of the road, mm -hmm. I'm taking you home. But then I said, okay, well, she lives on Hiawassee, why are we going over here? And so, so she lives off Hiawassee. They both do. They both do? Yeah. And I said, well, where are we going over here? He said, oh, I was taking her to go pick mm -hmm. up her car downtown. Oh, yeah, he told me that too. But if you were, I mean, he said he was taking her home, and then he was taking her to a car. So I'm going to lean towards her. I think there's some truth in like her beating that shit out of him. But I'm leaning more towards I don't know if I'm putting some dragon in the car. I didn't see any marks on her. But who's to say you can't just scoop somebody up and throw them in the car? Yeah. So I'm leaning more towards him. Him 1015? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know about that prison charge. Yeah. You know. That would be the matter. Not good. Did she get the money? And then she got it from her? And on top of that. By the way, guys, the story is. Keeps telling me. He kept telling me. Oh, if you're going to take it by a jail, just take me. Take me. Yeah, he kept saying that. Because supposedly she's on. And she's yeah. freaking out about it too. She's on something. If you, if you look up her history, there's nothing. Well, she, she is on something. Do you remember the, the, the dude that killed two people? Or the fraud or scheme fraud? Like, she worked at Chase Bank, and she was doing some scheme and shit. Mm. Her, her husband, legal husband, killed two people. So she's on probation on a police status or whatever until the court date. Her uh. 
doesn't show up for shit on her she's system. Not, she's not. It's weird. Yeah, it doesn't show up in the system now, which is weird. Okay. Oh. Uh, fucking. It's annoying. We'll see. Because I, either story doesn't make full sense. Either story doesn't make full sense, which is annoying. I'm gonna read this one. Yeah. This one, I wanna finish some, finish some writing and I can ask questions based on shit. Oh, sure, Mario, just throw my pen. see him like take your phone and all that no where were you at when that happened i was inside of like i just had to came out of her car so okay. i was at the outside of the apartment did they hear it happening there was multiple people out. everybody came but outside. your friend no she didn't no. but the neighbor was out there yeah. the, the person the girl from across she came outside to ask me if i was okay a guy was pulling out of his car and like three people from the other side came yeah. outside to all ask me if i was okay so there are multiple people outside of the apartment complex that saw what was going on Okay, uh, we gotta clarify a few things, okay? So, tell me from the beginning, well, I know I read your stuff, but I just, from the beginning, you went out with your friend, yes. right? You, your friend was drunk, so you decided to drive. Yes, I drove her home. Okay. Yes. Where's your car? My car is downtown at 55 West at my friend's apartment. 55 West? So, you drove your friend, so she didn't have to drive drunk. Yes. The only communication you had with him at that point was you texted him earlier that you were at that friend's house at this yes. time. Oh, like earlier, like okay, yeah. Is your phone dead? I'm, I'm charging it. Is your, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so then you get to your friend's house. Yes. Your plan at that point, how were you going to get home? So one of my friends followed me home. It's a guy that I'm talking to. Follow you, you home? Yes, he followed me home to her place. That's what I'm saying. He followed to her place. Yes. How were you going to get to your house? He was taking me back down because he lives downtown. Who was? The guy that followed me home. Okay. By the guy her. You're talking by to. her. I'm sorry. The guy that followed me by her apartment complex. Okay. He lives downtown, so he followed me back okay, over okay. there mm-hmm. to take me back downtown. Yeah. And mm-hmm. at the time that we were pulling in, I just he was like circling around her apartment yeah. complex yeah, and saw us there. Stuck his head out the window and was like, "This is what you're on." Yeah. And started like just arguing with me, mm-hmm. like, "Oh, this is what you're doing. This is what you're on." Yeah. Comes out the car. I go into my friend's back her car, she opens the door, pulls me out the car, takes my phone and throws it across the apartment mm-hmm. complex, like on the outside. If we were to call your friend, would she wake up and, and tell us that? She doesn't know what's going on, but the neighbors were outside. But you said you got back in her car. Though. But yeah. she was she was sleeping, so she didn't know. In her know. car? Yeah. Okay. She was she in the passenger. And she didn't, yeah. And she didn't wake up this whole no. time? But the neighbors were outside. That's fine. We're there, yeah, there are multiple neighbors on the outside. So after that happened with him throwing your phone or whatever, where's the guy go? He left. So he left because of and what was happening? If you, like, I can show you my phone. I called him multiple times. I was like, I need help. I need help. He took my phone right before he threw it, called him, yeah. and was like, oh, you're still fucking with this bitch, and starts, like, cursing him out. So now the guy's like, okay, at this point, like, he wants with you. nothing to do with me. Yeah. Who wants this kind of drama? Yeah. You know what I mean? Which I understand. Gotcha. So after he left, then what? After he threw your phone, called him. And so I went to go get my phone and I started walking home because I'm not far from her. She lives on Dorchester, I live on Hiawassee. Okay. So we're like maybe like a light or two away from one another. Yeah. I live on Hiawassee and Balboa, so it's not far. Okay. Mm-hmm. So as I'm starting to walk home, I was in front of the, um, the IHOP, the Chuck E. Cheese IHOP at Chuck E. Cheese. You see 
calls me while he keeps calling my phone on private because I blocked his phone number. He doesn't yeah. calling me. So he's calling my phone number on block. So I answer and he's like, I see you, I can see you walking. Stops the car, and gets out can the you car. Tell you on the phone or you text no, it's on the phone, okay. on the yeah. call log. Mm-hmm. So he gets out of his car because he sees me walking, comes out and drags me and pulls me into his passenger. How did he drag you? What did he grab you? So my arm. He grabbed my arm and pulled me into his passenger seat. Yeah. I have like a black and blue right now. What were you talking? Did you tell him anything when he was doing that? Well, like, I'm like I'm kicking and screaming, and he's stronger than me, yeah. so not really much I can do. Yeah. So. So he throws, he gets you in the car. Puts me in the car, locks the door, takes my phone from me. Did you try to get out of the car? I did. Okay. So you I mean, able to? I, I, I didn't. I guess I didn't realize because adrenaline. Like, I don't know if I was the one that broke his windshield, but like. I mean. I'm pushing. He throws you in the car, right? <laughs> yeah. Like if somebody puts me in this car, right? They got, they got to go around, get in the driver's seat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to leave the car. Did well, I'm try? trying to get out. Mm-hmm. So you he couldn't open the door? Or what? No, he, he has a key in his hand, so he locked the car door on the and other you side. You couldn't open it anymore? No, way? Like, I'm trying. You okay. know what I mean? But he has my phone. I can't get out the car. Like, I didn't want to get out the car at that point because I don't have my phone on me. Mm-hmm. So I didn't try to get out the car when he put me inside because he took my phone from me. Oh, that's crazy. You know, so I'm... When we were on tour, we were Yeah. Crazy. So we started, like, fighting in the car on tour. Oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I mean, I don't want to take my phone back. Because I wanted... But you were telling me? To get somebody to help me. You're trading the all of them. What I'm getting is you're trading the all of them. To get my phone back. So, he's starting to struggle for it because I told him where my car was. So I got my phone back from him. And I'm texting the guy. texting him and he's like, I'm not going to give you your phone because I plugged it in. I found the car that I plugged in and he's like, I'm not going to like have you use my charger and like contact this guy. Fix my phone and that's when me and him start like an altercation on the road. Oh, leaving. I was like, what is this word? Um, I'm not sure if I hit him, honestly. I probably did because I'm trying to get my phone.
Okay. Last thing I need you to do on this form is right here, if you're will willing to testify in court, yes initial. If you're willing to press charges, yes initial, and then sign right here in this box for me, okay? I don't want to press charges. Okay. Sorry, just sign right here. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. So about what time did you last actually talk to him over I the have phone? My, like, my phone went to charge, so I can right. tell you exactly when. No, 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 I, I, no, I get that part. That's yeah. fine. But if, if it's not working right now because it got damaged too much. No, it's still, it's still working. The screen's just cracked. Okay. But I can tell you the exact, like, Right. No, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to get a guesstimate before, before uh, the phone. Maybe, like, 6 or 7. PM? PM, yeah. That was the last time you legitimately I, spoke I think, to him over the phone? I think. Text message and phone yeah. call? No, just text message. Maybe okay, text message was the last time. Phone call was probably, like, 2 PM. 2, 3, like, around there. You mean PM or AM? PM. So in the afternoon, that was the last time you guys ever had any any type of phone conversation period yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just waiting for me. I can show you guys. Okay. Cool. Ma'am, can you come here? She's saying last text messages came in 6 p.m. Last time they talked on the phone was 2 p.m. the other numbers that are intermittent between there. I can tell you. I just need to tell you. Excuse me. You guys talked here. Yeah, that's when he was calling oh, 16 me. Seconds. What mm -hmm. do you guys talk about? That's when he kept calling me. I know, but like this was an answer. This is while I was walking home. So did you ever... You guys... Mm -hmm. You answer the phone sometimes? Mm -hmm. What were you guys talking about? This is... Very short. This is while I was walking home. He was like... Where are you going? Where are you? Like, why are you walking? Because I kept telling him I'm walking home, I'm walking home. That's all I'm home. So Oliver is the guy that followed me home because I kept telling him. Yeah. So you messaged. Wasn't wasn't all the Oliver dude? Wasn't he there at the house originally? Yeah, he was there. When when, when, when he, he showed up. up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you messaged him later. No, at the same time. So they were at the house. He goes, whatever on her. Yeah. She takes her phone, breaks it, whatever. He, Oliver, the guy she's talking, to, mm -hmm. sees what's happening. Is like, I don't want nothing part of this. Please. I just leave. So then when this happens, the whole getting in the car thing and then being on 408, she's caught messaging him. Hey, I call him like, hey, I need your help. Okay. Yeah. And then he sees me texting him, and that's when he takes my phone in the car, and that's when we start fighting in the vehicle. 
because I'm trying to get my phone back from him because he's like, you're not going to text him while you're in the car with me. Okay, and about how much time took place between when he showed up at your friend's house to when he showed up at Dorsher in 50? When he came there? Yeah. We were at Dorsher, like, in her apartment complex for a little while, maybe about, like, 10 minutes. We were there for a good while. Enough for the neighbors to come outside and see what was going on. Okay, so what I'm saying, so, like, you were at your friend's house. Mm -hmm. He shows up, causes the scene there. He leaves at some some point, I'm assuming. How long were you between you being at your friend's house to him showing up at again at Dorsher and 50. What was the time frame between that and that? You can pull it up, yeah. He started, he started, 1436. He started calling me. So whenever he started calling you? Like whenever the unknown call started. So after, so I called him how many times? Six times, so like around here. Like when he started blowing up my phone, he left. So whenever that was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I didn't hear what the times were. 322 started okay that's like when i started like walking home okay all right it didn't take very long for us to like for me i'm to gonna let your phone charge yeah that's fine okay Any of that? Send. uh i don't know how you can send it to me so don't worry about it to let it charge yeah just hang tight ma'am I don't know. I don't think that. I don't think the kidnapping charge is going to go anywhere. Anything other than kidnapping? No, no. I don't think. It, I don't think the kidnapping charge will go anywhere. No, no. no I'm the, ba- the battery charge. Charges? I wouldn't. She said she never tried to get out of the car. Right. So she was on four away, not in the car back where you broke the window and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's 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 where I'm leaning towards. It's just now. Now I need to figure out. Uh, saying he also got beat up over at her place or at her friend's place excuse me that's two separate distinctions so it might be they still need they still both go because we have two different my only issue is he's lying to us how do we know he's not lying if anything i me personally i would file on her yeah two different incidents in a sense two different scenes yeah but, again, if someone just batters you, why are you going to leave and then come back and pick her up? So, that's something I question, too. I mean, you just beat me up at your friend's house. Why am I going to come back? Fuck, that's hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could try to call her. Huh? I could try to call the guy she was talking to. She was also. Hey, if, if you're willing to uh, work on that. Hey. Is he talking? Did he show it to you? Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, so she was able to call him back on the block because because she showed us her phone and it's like there's like she answers like three or four times I think. Um, no, uh, no phone call. Uh, like she showed us like her her call logs or her call list, but he called several times and a few of the times she answers or at least. Mario says that she answers. I don't know how iPhones work. Um, they don't have one. Um, so she answers two or three of them at least during that After time frame. The original call that she made him. Oh, there's an original really? call. Oh original no, I didn't see that one. Right. Yeah, so we have. Yeah, we have. She, she showed us um, WhatsApp messages of uh, the last time that they had WhatsApp talk was like seven last night. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Yeah, 
but technically they were separated. Um, um, Okay, I'm sorry to have to make you do this like seven times. Start to finish, when you got text messages, when you got phone calls, tell me everything one more time. So she texted me, I mean, she called me when she got off of work. Like, I'm on my way home. Mm -hmm. And she was like, hold on, your mom's calling me, right? So she ended up getting home, eventually called me, it's probably like 5.30, somewhere around there. Um, and she's like, hold on, I'm going to call you back. Text me. I called her. She didn't answer. She texted me around like I think it was 7:34. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going, uh, going to Lola's. Her mom by my house. She walked here. I'm picking her up. Okay. So I didn't hear from her. I called her. She didn't answer. She texted me, hey, like around nine something. I was like, hey, what's up? She didn't respond. I called her, you know, again like right around two something, like close to three. Safe, like what's going on? She didn't answer, and so I was like, I feel like she's lying to me. So I drove over to her friend's house to see if her car was there, see if she was even, you know, whatever. Like, either you're lying to me or not. Mm -hmm. And when I get there, she's there outside. This other guy that she was talking to while we weren't together was there in his car, about to pull off. So I stop and I roll down the window. I was like, So, like, this is what you're doing? Like, why are you lying to me? So he ends up leaving. I get out the car and I'm asking her, like, Why are you lying to me? She's like, Leave. I was like, just tell me why you're lying to me. Like, why are you stringing along? Like, I'm a person too. Like, why are you playing with my emotions? I have nothing going on. My dad just died, everything like that, right? And she starts pushing me, telling me to leave, and everything like that. So while she's pushing me, I end up doing like this, something like that to get her to stop pushing me. Her phone just keeps flying, right? And she ends up getting her phone. Call her. She didn't answer, so I get, I get on, you know, road to O'Neill, start driving home. She calls me. That's where you see the phone call. It's two minutes. Now I don't have a way home. He's not answering his phone. Um, the guy is there. He's not answering his phone. I'm gonna walk home. Now at this point, like I told you, I'm over on Hiawassee, like right by Old Winter Garden. I live, you know, right by across the street from the Valencia Building there on Hiawassee. It's somewhere else. I'm not gonna let her make that U-turn. Calling her, calling her, calling her. She's not answering. She finally answers the phone. It's like I'm walking home. I'm walking down 50 right now. And I'm like, okay. And so when I get on Colonial, I'm looking on the left side of the road and I don't see her at all. So I pull into the apartment complex. I drive all the way around, past where she was. She's not there. I call her again. She doesn't answer. And I think maybe like the third time I called her there, she answered and she's like, I'm like, you're not walking home. Like, where are you? I will take you home. She's like, oh, I'm on 50 right in front of the mobile gas station. So I come out of the apartment complex, I turn right. I finally see her walking across the street at Dorshire. The light was red, but as I pulled up, it turned green. So I pulled up right there, directly on the other side of the street, on the other side of the light, roll down the window, I'm like, get in the car, I'm going to take you home. And she gets in the car. I force her in the car. You know, it, it wasn't even like she was like, told me no. I just like, get in the car, I'm going to take you home. She got in the car. So when she gets in the car, I start driving. I actually get in the left lane because I'm going to take her home. She's like, no, I have to go downtown. My car is by my friend Davey on there. Across all three lanes, turn right on Hiawassee, get on 408, start coming this way, starts flipping out about her phone, starts flipping out about, I lost my debit card, it's your fault. And I'm like, how is that my fault? Like, that you lost. She didn't explain to me that it fell out of her bag, like, while we're arguing. Like, I'm like, how did I lose a debit card? Like, maybe that pissed her off. I don't know, and she just starts punching me while I'm driving, driving down 408, like swerving, everything like that. And she starts kicking me, punching me, and I eventually just, she's like, crash the car, I don't care. And eventually I pull over here, and she's still hitting me and kicking me, and I'm like, yo, get out. She's like, no. 
And I'm like, okay, you don't want to get out? So I reached across, I opened the door, and I pushed her out of the car. And then I got out to talk to her. I'm like, look, I'm not going to leave you here on the side of the road. Get in the car. If you want to go leave your car, I'll take you to your car. If you want to go home, I'll take you home. Where? I'm not going to leave you on the side of the highway at 3 o'clock in the morning. I mean, I tell her, I'm not going to leave you. Mm -hmm. And she calls right here, and she starts calling the police. And I'm like, look, just get in the car. I know that if you guys were to come here, I'm most likely going to jail. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure who it's going to be. I don't want it to be her. She goes, she's not coming back out. Got gotcha. you. She goes, she's not coming back out. And then I hear her telling, and this, this is the night, I'm sure this guy will tell you, I hear her telling me he forced me in the car. And I'm like, I forced you in the car? Why are you lying to them? Why are you telling them that I forced you in the car? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. You're telling them that I kidnapped. And literally, even after everything that happened, whatever, arguments, everything, everything in the car, I'm still telling you I will take you home. Uh, I'll take you to your car, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to leave you here stranded at 3 o'clock in the morning, side of the highway, on the side of Colonial. Only God knows what's going to happen. Okay. What, do you know what arm you pushed on her to get her out of the car? Okay, you just like shove on her chest, on her arms, her face. You just got her out of the car. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna do do one of these real quick, and then other way. Do you know what happened there? No. Okay. Nonsense going on. And then turn your head for me. Other way. All right. Do you have anything that you know of on your chest or anything like that? Okay. Can you can you just pull down to the collar? It might be a little bit easier. Yeah. Oof. Jesus. Does that not hurt? I don't feel anything. Your collarbone doesn't hurt at all? No, I don't feel anything. Okay. Ah, uh, it's bruised a lot, actually. Did you get kicked up there or like? I don't know where I, I mean. To be honest with you, everything's happening so fast. I don't know where I'm getting hit. I know I, I, can get, I know I got punched here a few times. I don't know where I'm getting hit. What's happening? You know what I mean, like I'm not paying attention, like to where when I push her out the car, where was my hand? Was, yeah, no, 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 no. I open got. Open the you. car, push. You know what I mean? Okay. And do you mind? If, do you mind if I go through your phone one more time again? Uh, yeah, the text messages and the phone calls too. Just, okay, so we'll, the, we'll go through that one one at a time. Right. But this is what's pertinent, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's what he does. Later. Okay. And then the, the phone calls? So this is this is me calling her after she told me she had no way home. So you see, she called me, oh, sorry, she called me here. 308, right, 308. She has no way home. And so that I, was, that's, that's you her. calling her mm -hmm. right there? Okay. Mm -hmm. And she called me. What time was this call? If you don't mind just checking real quick. Uh, okay, so that was you calling. That was that's you. Uh, that's you getting a call from her. Right. And then she told me she has no way home. She's gonna walk home. And so I'm just like calling her, like calling her. Just, just keep you know just declining the call as soon as it rings one time. I'm like I'm not gonna let you walk home. So she she answered a few times in here. So like here 16 seconds. 22 seconds, those are the times, 29, those are the times that she's answered. Mm -hmm. And she's telling me that she's walking home as I'm, like, driving back. To Trying to figure out where, figure she, out is. where she is. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Hang tight. Did, did you get in contact with anybody? No, he didn't. 
just seems like it's pretty much done with it. Okay. With the fire incident, especially with that, uh, you know, that are up. Um, show me a picture. Um, this is what you stated. Um, there's a fire incident with your house. Uh, he came with a brick and busted out of the wood. Show me a picture. Uh, they didn't follow the book because it's going to be able to see it without it. It's been uh, okay. unrelated to it. Yeah. Both sides have parts that make sense, but both sides have parts that don't make sense. And if you look at him, the longer I'm sitting there talking with him, the more you see bruising and scratching and shit like this start coming out. He has, like, severe bruising and shit on his collarbone right here. Mm -hmm. Most people drive right handed. How the fuck does that happen? Just to make sure I got it right, so at no point tonight you ever called him? No, I have all my call logs here. Okay. Yeah, I can show you. So his phone number is blocked. Mm Mm-hmm. So... The last time that I spoke to him, so... This is after he called me multiple times. I think I answered this outgoing for two minutes. Okay, so that was your... This is me here, 308. Okay. So this whole altercation, I can tell you when it happened. So I started sharing my location with him to come pick me up at 302. And then he texted me at 316. He's like, you're both a dub. That means that like, because that's when he pulled up because he was yeah. behind me following me. Uh-huh. And he pulled up right there. So that's after him calling me multiple times. So this is the guy that I'm talking right, to. Right, yeah, Oliver. Oliver, okay. So the last time me and him had any type of, like, contact was my boss, Priscilla, yesterday. 4.54 p.m. Okay. Outgoing for and two minutes. What is... What's this call? So that's eight. it. That's him calling me. So this is when right. it started. This is when he pulled up. Right. What's this call? That's when I, I called him back because he called me here. Mm-hmm. And I'm calling the guy. Yeah. He called me here. I'm calling the guy. I'm calling the guy. I answered his phone call. Right. At 307. Right incoming for one second. And then I called him back because he kept blowing up my phone. So I okay. called him back. Okay. And so for two minutes, what did you guys talk about? So this is when he pulled up there. I was like, can you leave? Can you leave? This is when I got back into my friend's car. So I'm sitting in her car and I'm like, you need to go. You need to leave. So he's, her car is parked this way. So this isn't this isn't when you guys are already no. you haven't left yet you no. haven't started walking or anything like that. We're still that. in the apartment complex at this point. So here. he came back. Philip came back twice. No, he was. No, he was still here at the apartment complex at this point at 308 when I answered him. I was like, you need to leave. You need to go. When he pulled up was on 50. Right, but no. What I'm I'm trying to get the timeline down for for when you guys were in the apartment. So it was. So here. it was at this time. So I'll tell you why. It was a little bit after 302, because at 302 is when I was on Hiawassee turning on to 50, because I shared my location with him, so he knows where to pick me up from. This is when, this is the guy that's picking then me up. This is when you're still driving? Or this yeah. is when you're walking? No, this is when I was driving, 302. Okay. Because so, I shared my location with him, so he knew where to pick me up from, because he's taking me back downtown to get my car. Okay, so the location that you shared with him was the apartment complex that you're dropping your friend off yes, at. Yes, this is it right here. Okay. So I pinned it, but I shared my location with him just in case, if I didn't have service or whatever, so I just started sharing my location with him. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. And then at what time did you start walking? Oh, walking. Yeah. It had to have been around here. Like 3.32, 3.36. Yeah, it has to have been like around here. Like this 3.32 time. Because I had called him and then I just, because he, he wasn't answering me, I called him multiple times. So it has to have been like around here, like 3.30ish. 3.30. Okay, so, so it has during, to have been like here, like right here. Because that's the last phone call that I received for him. That's probably when he like pulled up and saw me walking. And this this entire time frame here, this this ten minute ish mm-hmm. window, he had your phone. No, this within this ten minute window was like him taking my phone, trying to get me in the car, and us driving on four oh eight. Okay, and he because found you at Dorsher and Fifty. Dorsher and Fifty. Mhm. Like okay. around here. All right. That's when I like moved over here. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. What's up? Definitely What'd you say? At the work, she's like, she just wrote about the kidnapping part of the jail or something. And at one point, whatever, and she doesn't seem like she's going to hear anyway. No. So, she never told you at one point she was trying to get out of the ball. So, I'm only, uh, my only issue with him since being... So you have um, full understanding of what we're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna end up taking both. Both stories are not fucking connecting okay. properly. So we have charges from two separate times. Him obviously stating the initial one from earlier when they're over at the apartment when he, she starts beating him up then and then same thing here. She has the exact same reverse story of getting beat up over there and then getting dragged into the car over here. Both stories don't make any sense. I'd be filing on both of them anyways. So I'm just going to take both because I can't I can't freaking tell who's supposed to be doing what. Annoying as I'll do this. Um, so if you do not mind helping Lewis cuff her, and then we're gonna cuff him, and then I'm gonna leave. Okay. I appreciate you. All right, brother. Uh, what what else do you have in your pockets? You have the vape and your phone, right? He's all right. Cool. Turn around for me. On. All right, I'm just gonna take this real yeah, quick. Have anything in your way is fine, right? Okay. give it to you straight she is claiming a battery just as much as you are claiming a battery you guys used to live together you guys are currently on and off so it's considered domestic violence given the stories that you guys are giving each other it's there is nothing that's going to change it there's no take backs once we start the whole process okay
No, you're good. All right, you're all in. She's on bond. How does that work? Uh, you probably just rip over bond because she's yeah, in I, trouble. Yeah, I looked up her. I looked her up in the system. She's not on anything, according to the system. Said, so when she, she gets did. down to the jail, they might tell me something different. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you anything. Running, that it's probably uh, uh, you know not true. Anything, I guess so. Running her, I couldn't. I couldn't see anything. Um, she's gonna have to do with the judge. Cause yeah. I don't know. And I, no, no offense, no, and this course. isn't, isn't going to change anything whatsoever. No, of course. I asked you multiple times yeah. if you ever did anything to him, and every single time you said you didn't. No, well, I told you when we were in the car. Right, you said in the car you started yes, bumping course. around, and you started kicking the car, of you course. started hitting the doors. Yes, you never you never said you started hitting him. Yes, I asked you, you multiple times, you did, yes, and I'm, you said you didn't. No, because I told And I go I, talk to him, he yeah. has bruising and scratches and everything all because right I here on the side like of his head hold on right i get that part so she he's got bruising and cuts and stuff like this all along here yeah. he also has extensive bruising and stuff like that on his of, chest of course. which makes no sense he had my phone the entire time in okay the car. but if i'm driving a vehicle and yeah. you're sitting in the passenger seat yeah. how is my chest getting bruised Explain because that I'm, to me. Because I'm trying to fight him back to get my cell phone that he had at the side of him. He And then when he came out the car, he still had my phone in the hand. Okay. I fought for my phone and I ended up on the floor. When you guys pulled up, I was sitting on the floor. So he's alerting something, you're alerting something. We have to put those things together and make sure the are... No, that's fine, of course. But that's, which is why you're in the phone. No, of course, and I can, I'm not arguing, I'm not fighting, but like... My, my problem is is because I know I have something going on right. and I know that if you guys take me in there's no possible way that I'm probably going to get out and I have a lot going on right now a lot like like you know what I'm saying and I know I have that case going on I know I, I'm on bond of course if you feel any better I ran you through the system you're not showing anything on our side really? I, I do if you guys Look it up. I do. I'm on bond right now. I checked. I don't see. I don't see anything. But maybe the, maybe I'm, the jail will tell me something different. But as of right now, yeah. I see nothing in our criminal system. Oh no, I'm telling you. I'm so I can let you know. You my, the bond's been on office. The I'm on bond. I have. I have no idea. Oh, I, I don't I'm, know why I'm pulling up, but I yeah. am. But that's the only reason. Like you know what I'm saying. Right. I, are you civil case are you going okay on. with doing the transport for me on her side? I appreciate you. You know, knowing that okay. I have a civil case going on, you know what I mean. Situation we like can talk more about this down at the jail. Okay, okay. I would like to get you guys down there but and off the side of the road. Yes, you're going to jail. You're already in the cuffs. You're going to be placed in the back of the car. You've been searched. This is the process. There's, there's at this point, there's nothing that can change it. We had an hour or so to figure this out. Negative, on notice of subjects, breathing, and that they're not moving. No, I'm not. But the thing is, like, 
Yeah. I'm going to go to the judge. They're not going to let me out. Look, my issue is that I was basically kidnapped. I was kidnapped. Yes, like, that's the problem that I'm having right now, and that's why I'm so upset. I understand that. Like, knowing that I have something going on, like, understand that. But the thing is, you guys are you're arresting me. Ma'am, no offense. Again, none whatsoever. The amount of times I have shown up to an incident, the bad person, and I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm on four feet on the floor trying to physically get out of a car that someone put me in. I let you guys know that. He okay. put me in the. Okay. The back to have the you already apartment. had the chance to search her? Yeah, I know you. Okay. Like, I can get the witnesses, like, people can go back. I'm sorry. Spread your feet a little bit, ma'am. No problem. Oh, my God. Uh, Anything on you that's going to both me and hurt me? No, ma'am. I don't have anything. It's just a mask. Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be, like, you know. No, you're all right. But I'm just trying to explain myself, you know? I get that. All set? All right, have a seat for me. Can I call my uh, mom? Do you, have anything further? you can call her once we get down to the jail. I promise I will type quickly. What is she... Did she ever say, like, what her ethnicity is, randomly at all? Okay. Yeah, we'll just say white. No. He'd be considered white. I don't know what she... Oriental? Asian? Maybe? Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, I think that's what her last name alludes to. They saw the male laying on the okay? ground. It does not yeah. look like he's bleeding or apparently injured. Bye. I will see you guys later. Mario, I'll thank you. Loss. I will not be for several minutes. Okay. I still have two other reports it's that I never got to. I know. County 153 Alpha. I have one white male on board 1015 for bad DV 51 to BRC. 132 Alpha is going to be transporting a Indian female. Reference same charges. Also be 51 to BRC. Charlie 3026. What's up, brother? It's likely you can get towed to Johnson's. Uh, right over here off of um, 50 in Pine Hills. Uh, depends on the situation. Yes. It is possible she can get out. Uh, 
Not necessarily. Correct. Also, yes. Also, yes. Honestly, I think a little bit of both stories are true. Uh, I think at some point, both of you guys did something that you're not necessarily too proud of in the moment. Uh, not necessarily lied to, just maybe not provided the full full story, if that makes sense. That's something you can read about. You'll get a copy of the report, I believe, when uh, when you get booked through. Uh, and you'll be able to see what you said and what she said to us. And I'll, I'll let you piece that one together on your own. Yeah, I'm on. Go ahead. No, I'm just talking about on the toe. It's like throwing the glove box or something. That way, it's not out in the like the seat. Yeah, no, that, that should be fine. Appreciate it, dude. Did you already get the chance to call from the toe? Yeah, I, I missed it. So bond uh, bond will get established in a couple days, ish, um, or at least whenever it's you know the judge is available to see you guys. There's no bond that's originally attached to the charges just because it's domestic related. Um, so when the judge talks to you guys and establishes the bond, all you have to be able to do is pay 10% of that. So if you can call somebody. If you don't have anybody, the judge will be able to provide you with with that answer. I'm, I'm going to be entirely honest with you. As soon as I get someone to the jail and I drop them off, that ends. 
So, how domestics work is they try to keep a person for, usually, um, about two days-ish, slash 48 hours, maybe, um, because they want the two parties to remain separated for as long as they they can force it, so there's no follow-up incidents or anything like that where it becomes worse. Um, however, does that always actually take place as it's written down in our guidelines? No. Um, sometimes people get released or get spoken to the judge much, much earlier than that. So I can't say for sure how long you'll be actually sitting in here before you talk to a judge because I've seen it happen in the same night, same day, whatever you want to call it. And I've also seen it happen... Um, like I said, about that 48 hour mark. So I, I honestly, God, I don't know.